You get here through consistent action, and you get here through discipline and doing the work day in and day out to get you from where you are to where it is that you want to be. Anything that you are not willing to pursue, you will never possess. I want you to understand that. Anything that you are unwilling to pursue, you will never possess. And so a lot of people will come to me and they'll say to me, I don't understand why is this not happening or unfolding in my life. And the reason it is not happening is because you have not pursued it. And let me say this about pursuit. Pursuit is not simply writing down a goal or a dream or an objective or a vision. Pursuit means to give your time, your energy, every faculty of your being to the fulfillment of the thing that is in your heart. And if you're not like that in your pursuit of it, you'll never see it manifest for you. People think because they write down goals or they set an intention that it's automatically going to happen for you. You have got to begin to put feet to your dreams. You have got to begin to put um, action to your ambitions and your aspirations. Otherwise, you abort the seed of your potential. And so you have a responsibility to pursue your vision and to pursue it relentlessly. I believe that one of the things that um, holds so many people back from really being successful is passivity. Passivity is not only an enemy to your potential. Passivity is literally a, a barrier to your progress and your growth and your advancement. And so if you want to live the life of your dreams, if you want to fulfill prophetic destiny, you cannot afford to be a passive person. Nothing comes to you in passivity but disappointment. Nothing comes to you in passivity but hopelessness and despair. Why? Because you are waiting for something to happen and not realizing that you are the spark that is going to be the catalyst for the shifting of your life. You are the engine that is going to drive all change in your life. And if it's going to be, it's up to me. In other words, you have a critical part to play in your success. So many times we're blaming situations and circumstances. We're acquiescing uh, to different things in our lives, and we don't realize that we are responsible for our own success. Nobody else is responsible for your success. You, you can't blame your social economic status. You can't blame your environment. You can't blame your family because there are always examples and precedents of individuals that have come through the most horrid conditions in their lives and achieved extraordinary things. So that eliminates all the excuses that we try to tell ourselves for why we're not further or doing more with our lives. The reality is that you are where you are because you choose to be there. And what thing are you going to do that that is going to make the difference in your life. I will tell you this, what I know to be true. The difference in seasons in your life are the actions you are willing to take and the responsibility that you are willing to take for your life. The difference in seasons in your life are the actions you are willing to take and the responsibility that you are willing to take for your life. If you're not willing to take responsibility and to be a person of action, you will be sitting in the same spot July 23rd, 2023, July 23rd, 2024, July 23rd, 2025, and it will just be a never-ending cycle in your life because you have got to take responsibility and you've got to be a person of action. you got to stop saying you're waiting for something, you're waiting for this and that, you're not waiting for anything. You don't need permission to fulfill your purpose or maximize your potential. All you need is the perception that you are more powerful than you could ever imagine. Let me get off of that. Pursuit is what separates dreamers from doers. So if you want to separate yourself from people that simply dream and never realize their dreams, you've got to be a person that does. You've got to be a person of action. People are always asking me, I don't understand. And I tell them, hmm, okay, that's interesting. And then I say, well, what are you doing every day? And I can tell some people get really offended when I say that. I'm working. I'm busy. What do you mean what am I doing? Okay, so you're working 24 hours a day. You're working seven days a week. There, There's no time in between. And they say, well, I didn't say that, but I'm busy. And then I say, well, what do you do with the hours when you clock out of work? 
what are you doing in the evenings? Are you binge watching Netflix? Are you scrolling social media? Are you just hanging out with your friends and doing nothing? What are you doing with your time? Because you say this is your goal and this is what you want to accomplish, but you told me you're so busy you have no time, which lets me know that you haven't taken any action and you haven't really prioritized these things in your life. And then the light bulb begins to come on for a lot of people while they're not being successful. See, nothing is really holding you back. We can try to blame systems. We can try to blame institutions. We can try to blame um, our historicity and our pedigree and all of those things. But at the end of the day, really, if we look internally and do some introspection, we realize that we are our own worst enemy and that many times you are the greatest barrier that is standing in the way of your own breakthrough. It's not that you don't have the time. It's that you haven't found the time because those things are not really important to you. Do not tell me this lie that something is important to you and you are not taking any action and pursuing that thing in your life. I do not believe you. Anything that is important to me, I'm going to pursue it. Anything that is a priority to me, I'm going to pursue it. Anything that is optional to me, I'll find the time to do it when I want to. So what it lets me know is that this goal is an option to you, but it's not a priority. And that's why you continue to go through year after year with the same result and you're not seeing the progress that you want to make. Anything that you are not willing to move towards, you will never manifest. Write that down. Anything that you're not willing to move towards, you will never manifest. And so people are like, why is this not happening in my life? You're not moving towards it. You're moving toward mediocrity. You're moving toward being average. You're moving towards things that you consider to be fun, and I'm not saying you can't have fun and recreation, but what I am saying is that there comes a point where you have to establish some boundaries in your life, and you have to ask yourself a question that I talk to my clients about all the time. What do you really want? You tell me you want A, B, C, D. You tell me you want to do this with your life. You want to accomplish this. But nothing that you are presently doing is accommodating the future that you say you want. Did you get that? Nothing you are presently doing is accommodating the future that you say you want. And so until I see you doing something, engineering something to resemble the future you say you want, then that thing is not really a priority in your life. And anything you're not willing to move towards, you have not married. Let me say that again. Anything that you have not moved toward, you have not married. And if you have not married your goals and your vision, you will never manifest it. I don't care how many good intentions you have, how many positive affirmations you make. If you have not married your vision, your goals, your objectives for your life, you will never manifest those things. How do I know I haven't married my vision, Jamel? You'll know you haven't married your vision when you can go days, weeks, months, years without thinking, concentrating, or being consumed with your vision. Let me say that again. You'll know you have not married your vision when you can go days, weeks, months, years without ever looking at, concentrating on, or being consumed with your vision. You're always being consumed with something. Whatever is getting your energy, whatever is getting your time, that thing is what has consumed your life. And so a lot of people are like, they want to do this, they want to build this company, they want to write this book, they want to create this solution in the world, and everything they do is the exact antithesis of what they say they want, which lets me know that you have not married your vision because you have gone, we are in the month of July, seven months, and in seven months you have not looked at your vision once, you have not looked at your goals once, you have not pursued any action in the direction of your future once, so it lets me know that you have not married that thing in your life. And what I know to be true is that what you have not married, you have not committed to. You've heard me say this on this podcast many times. Every change in your life begins with a commitment. If you want to change the seasons of your life, you have to change the commitments that you're making. And every cycle in our lives is engineered because of a commitment. And so if you have not married your vision, you have not committed to your vision. And when you have not committed to your vision, 